Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about what's been a postdoc researcher in Sweden versus the UK. Whether you're planning your next career move or just curious about academic life in different countries, I've got you covered. So let's get into it. So first and first, a postdoc or postdoctoral researcher is someone who's completed a PhD and is now conducting advanced research. It's a stepping stone in academia where you refine your skills, publish papers and work on big projects. But depending on where you are, the experience can be very different. Let's start with one of the biggest difference, work-life balance. In Sweden, there's a huge emphasis on balance. The standard working week is 40 hours and overtime is rare, plus FICA. There's a coffee break culture where we call FICA. It's practically sacred. It's when you take coffee with colleagues and it's when you take a breather, a cup of coffee with sweet things like cake or biscuits. But now in the UK, things are a bit more ethnic. Why many universities are trying to promote balance? Academia in UK often has a published vibes, longer hours and work and weekend works are not uncommon. That said, there's a strong academic community and plenty of networking opportunities in the UK. Uh, still talking of work up work life balance. Uh, I know of PhDs working extra hours in the lab. It can be that intense uh, in the UK. And uh, in Sweden, they, they will be They'll be begging you to go on, on vacation. You, you see HR sending emails. Uh, you've not gone on vacation this, um, this year. You need to go on vacation. But no one does that in the UK. If you have longer hours, they don't care. But they do go on vacation in the UK too. That's first point, work-life balance. Salary and benefits. That's the second point. Let's talk money. In Sweden, postdoc salaries are generally higher than in the UK. On average, you're looking at uh, 35 to 40,000 Swedish crowns per month, depending on your institution and benefit. Amazing healthcare is high, heavily subsidized. Parental leave is super generous, and you even get a pension contribution. And uh, in the UK, salaries can be lower, ranging from 30 to 40 but it's still dependent on your field and funding. Institution, there's NHS will provide free healthcare and uh, other benefits like parental leave are quite not extensive as in Sweden. And uh, talking about benefits, in, in Sweden, you can get uh, up to 240 days on parental leave for the uh, husband and wife and uh, it's so generous and uh, let's talk about cost of living uh, because you're going to spend your salary and uh, transportation in uk is really expensive in sweden oh uh, you can get transportation for the whole month for around 1000 to 1200 sec and you're going to take the train you're going to take the ferry and uh, bus tram you pay for the whole month. But in the UK, it's quite expensive. You're paying different fee for bus and uh, feeding. I think uh, feeding is quite the same. And uh, so when you weigh the options of salaries, benefits, with the cost of living, UK versus Sweden, and uh, something about the UK again versus Sweden in terms of the salary and benefit is uh, on your pay slip, you only get the deduction for payee and uh, pension in Sweden. But in the UK, you get deduction for payee, pension, NI, insurance, and to pay council tax to your council. At the long run, even though tax in Sweden is 30%, but at the long run, they're adopting almost the same thing. So I know the one I'm picking, so I'll allow you make your choice, but I know the one I'm picking, actually. Now let's talk about research and uh, research environment and collaboration. Sweden is known for being collaborative and flat in hierarchy. 
it's not unusual for postdocs to have direct access to professors and even senior leadership. In the UK, the structure can feel more hierarchical in nature. That said, UK universities often have larger, more diverse research teams and a lot of international collaborations. It's also a hub for conferences and events, which is great for networking. So there's this in the UK, I've noticed they, they like uh, hierarchy so much, like uh, dear, even to me, dear professor, so, so, so. So it's, they like, uh, UK are not so, they, they are not, uh, how can I put it? They are not modest in the UK. Uh, whereas I got to notice when I was, when you feel it from the UK, you see Mr. Miss, Professor, Dame, Captain, all these titles. As in Sweden, it's a first name basis. So it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's flat. So there's no much hierarchy and uh, it's, uh, it can foster networking and relationship. Uh, I don't know if it's bad or not. In in Sweden, you don't need to flatter when you send the mails. <laughs> can just say, I tire and just say, when you can, yeah, many things. So that's the hierarchy. But in terms of research or environment, they are both good countries, two great countries that invest in so much research and it's perfect. Let's talk about living culture and compare both countries. So uh, outside of lab, life is quite different too. Sweden offers a high quality of life with focus on sustainability, think biking everywhere, free education for your kids and generous nature at your doorstep. But winters are dark and long, so brace yourself. In the UK, You've got history, culture, and vibrant cities like London, Manchester, Edinburgh. The weather, well, it's not willing any hour either. Good weather's off somehow. But hey, well, when we talk about the culture, I'm still going to make another video about residents in both countries, so Sweden versus UK. But now I'm making a video as a researcher. And uh, there is in what I've noticed in the UK versus Sweden outside of the lab is uh, you can walk anywhere in Sweden, you can go to the woods, there's nothing like uh, this is government properties, you can go to the woods and just uh, walk. But in the UK, I see this a lot, private properties, do not go, or do not cross. So biking, I don't see much bike lanes uh, in the UK. Sweden, they're so big on bikes and uh, sustainability. In the in the Sweden, there's something we call pant, where you take your bottles, your recycle, you go there yourself. There's all these big uh, stores like Ika or Coop that you can just go and pant your bottles. But in the UK, they have this uh, recycling, but it's uh, you see the general waste and recycling waste. It's uh, I don't know. But so sustainability are with Sweden higher than the UK in terms of that. And so you pick your choice. So what's the verdict? If you're looking for work-life balance, social, strong social benefits and a collaborative work culture, Sweden might be the place for you. But if you thrive in a fast-paced environment with a lot of networking opportunities, UK could be your academic home. That's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you have had experience as a postdoc in either of these countries or if there's another country you're curious about. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more insights into academic life. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.